welcome back everyone so now it's time to say bye to custom iso like revy os atlas or tiny 11 and you can create your own customized debloated copy of windows 10 or windows 11. this will be light weighted and you can remove or add stuff according to your own personal need now why i'm recommending you to create a customized copy of windows 10 or 11 because majority of the people love this kind of custom ISO like Atlas, Revy because they are really lightweighted, give you a good performance. But again, they have the same question in mind that whether this operating system is safe or not. So this is the best alternative where you can just customize Windows 10 or Windows 11 according to your own need and enjoy the same performance as you get in Atlas or Tiny 11. But before starting guys, make sure that if this video helped you out, then please hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification in the future. You can also join my membership where you can live chat with me and get my assistant to fix any kind of your PC and laptop problem. Alright, so without any delay, let's quickly get it started. Now first you will have to come to this website, the link will be in the description. This is called NT Lite. And once you come up here, from the top menu option you have to click on download and here you get two different versions the stable and the beta one so we will be going with the stable and here you have to click on download 64 bit in case if you are using 32 then you can go with the 32 bit so click on it and the downloading will be started and it's around 23.5 mb so it won't take much time and as soon as it get downloaded you have to click on the downloaded folder now make a right click on the anti light setup dot exe choose run as admin click on yes and the setup wizard will be up here check the agreement box then click on next if you want to change the location then you can change it or else you can keep it to c drive only and then click next again again click on next and it will be installed now you have to click on finish and now here for the very first time you will be getting this kind of box here so here it says options you can go with the licensed with the renewal or the free one so you need to click on the free one and then you have to click on okay and then you would be able to find this kind of box here so now next what you have to do you need to download the windows iso that can be windows 10 or windows 11 whichever you want to make a customized iso so what you can do again you can bring up your browser go to a new tab and let's say if you want to download windows 11 then you have to type here windows 11 iso download click on the first link of microsoft then scroll down a bit and here in the download windows 11 disk image click on the drop down choose windows 11 multi edition then you have to click on download now choose the product language click on confirm and then you can click on 64 bit download and the downloading will be started so same you have to do for windows 10 so once you have downloaded the iso again you have to come to anti light box and here you have to click on add at the left and top then you have to click on image iso because we have to extract the iso here so click image iso now you need to locate to the location where your iso has been downloaded so i have my iso over here and for example i will take windows 11 but you can also do the windows 10 so i will select windows 11 iso here then i have to click on open and once i click on open you will find that it will display me all kind of available version for windows 11 so you can go with windows 11 home education but here i will go with windows 11 pro so i will select it then make a right click on it and click on load and then you have to click on ok and the loading will be now started so it may take some time so you have to wait until it's all been 100 percent loaded Alright, so finally the ISO has been loaded and it says loaded here and even it indicate in a green color so that you can identify that it has been successfully loaded. Okay, so once it will be loaded on the left hand side, now you can find all the categories through which we can customize our, our ISO. Okay, so let's begin with the process and on the very left hand side in the integrate section, you will find the update option and if I click on update you will find that all these updates are included but still there will be some missing updates so what you can do you can click on add then click on latest online update now this will list you all kind of update available and even it says missing so you have to select it and then finally you have to click on nq 
and all these updates will be included okay so once you are done it's optional if you want to keep it then you can keep it if you don't want to add then you can skip it now next we have the driver section if you click on the drivers and here you can add any kind of driver manually you can again click on add and then click on driver files and if you have downloaded any kind of drivers then you can just go ahead and select it okay now next we have the registry option now this can be really useful if you need any kind of registry preset to be installed with this new iso so what you can do you can save any kind of registry preset from your current or any other operating system and then click on registry click on add click on registry file then you can select that registry uh, preset and you can click on open and this preset will be saved for this new customized iso and now next we have the post setup and if you click on it so what you can do here basically that you can add any kind of third party application so that the next time when you install this customized iso that particular application will be automatically installed so any application like google chrome vlc media player whichever you want you can go ahead and post setup from here but i won't recommend you this method because it's really complicated there are a lot of things that you have to keep in mind so it's better that you go ahead and customize the iso and after installing the windows then you can install that particular application okay but still you should know about this option and if you want to make some research if you want to do something practical then you can do from here okay now let's come to the remove section and here very first option we have is the component and if i click on the app section so you will find here all kind of bloatware that comes along with windows 11. so here is the main part and here we will be customizing and debloating all kind of application so let's say i don't want clip champs i will uncheck it i don't want cortana i will uncheck it feedback hub i don't need get help i don't need mail and calendar i don't really don't need it microsoft news i don't need it microsoft people i don't need it slider i don't need a sticky note i need it microsoft to do i don't need it movies and tv msn weather i don't need it similarly just keep scrolling down whichever option you don't need go ahead and uncheck that option your phone xbox tcui i don't need it okay so these are the application that you have to select here whichever you don't need you have to uncheck it so there are many more options that you can check here if you're not sure about anything then you can leave it because we have already done the main part of debloating the windows application okay so there are many things that you can check over here like if you don't need the remote desktop service then you can go ahead and uncheck it then you have the telnet client simple tcp ip services if you don't need the telnet client then you can also go ahead and disable it you can uncheck it remoting and privacy uh, there are a few things that you can uncheck over here then you have the system app so it's very similar uh, to the windows application only so you get many options here like uh, file explorer i don't recommend you doing that microsoft edge okay so there is a detailed view okay so you have to look over here whichever you don't need like a skype i don't need it so i will uncheck it similarly just look here spend some time do some kind of research find about the uh, services and application over here and uh, so that you can know that what exactly they are used for and whichever you don't need just go ahead and disable it okay so once you are done from the left hand menu option now you get the another option that is scheduled task so there is nothing much to do over here but still if you want to uh, cancel any kind of default scheduled task then you can do it from here so in order to change it what you will have to do you need to select that option then on the right hand side you will find the drop down you will have to click on it and from here you can remove it okay so whichever task you don't need just go ahead and remove it now let's come to the configure section and if i click on it the very first option we have is the feature option so now here you will find all kind of features that are being enabled that shows in a green color and whichever has been disabled it shows you in a gray color so it's all up to you if you want to remove anything if you want to disable anything you want to enable anything then you can do from here so again it's all up to you spend some time over here whichever you don't need like windows sandbox windows search you can go ahead and uncheck it then you have the setting option and you can do a lot of things from here and on the very top we have the auto logger is tracing and if i click on it so here you can find all the detail which are being enabled and whichever are being disabled so let's say 
if you want to disable anything for example if you want to disable the direct track listener as you can see it's been enabled so you will have to select it then on the right hand side you have to click on the arrow icon and then you have to click on disabled okay so be careful because these are settings are very important and only make changes once you are sure about it and then you have many other categories like crash control and if you select it so you will find many more options then you have the desktop option and from here you can do many kind of changes you can customize your windows 11 or windows 10 like you can change the accent color uh, accent color inactive title bar all tab style if you want to change it then you can change from here now here the best part that i love here is the classic context menu as i really hate the windows 11 context menu and you can see if i make a right click on my windows 11 desktop so it give me a new context menu which i really don't like and i have to click on show more option all the time in order to find all the options available so if you don't need that and you want that on your new windows 11 there should be a context menu of old windows 10 then you can select classic context menu click on the drop down on the right hand side and choose enabled similarly there is the animation effect dark mode for application dark mode for windows so if you don't need the dark mode for entire windows only for the application then you can select it click on the drop down and choose it to enabled and so you get many other options like desktop icon desktop icon for my computer network recycle bin so these are the options that you can check and if you want to change anything customize then you can do from here okay so then you get the taskbar option over here so if you want to disable or enable or make any kind of changes then you can do from here then you have the event weaver channel so i want to recommend you to do anything much here until you are not sure what exactly it is and now if i scroll down then we get the explorer option and it gives you many other options like autoplay which has been enabled and if you want to disable the autoplay like for usb or for any external device then you can disable it balloon notification legacy that has been disabled set to default if you want to enable it then you can enable it then you have command prompt in directory shift uh, decrease the space between item display file size so these are the things that you get to customize your windows 10 or windows 11 according to your personal need show clock if you want to enable it then you can click on the drop down and enable it and then you have the another category like network and it's a dns multi homed name resolution dns parallel name resolution if you want to make any changes you can do that then you have the power control the fast startup option that is being enabled by default now fast startup basically help you to uh, shut down your computer faster but again it's not recommended because it can become the cause of many kind of windows issues and problem so if you want that it should be disabled then you can click on the drop down on the right of it and choose it to disabled if you want to disable any kind of option like hibernate log sleep log on then you can do that from here and now you have the windows defender so if you don't want any kind of windows security then you can disable it permanently from here simply you will have to select windows defender tamper protection whichever you want to disable you can select from here and then from the right hand side you can choose it to disabled and then you also get the windows update option now many of you don't want any kind of windows update and if you want to disable it then from here you can disable the windows update and even many more options like download update over metered connection if you want to disable this option then you can disable it and if you have noticed get the latest update as soon as they are available let me quickly show you if i bring up my settings and go to windows update so you can see there is an option get the latest update as soon as they are available if you want to disable this option then you can disable it so let me quickly disable it so that i can show you now next you have many more options here that you can check windows update if you want to disable it you can disable it i don't want to disable so i will keep it as it is then you have the task option so if you want to disable anything then you can do that now let's move to another category here in the services if you want to disable any services then you can look over here i have already created a video that what services you can disable you can check that or if you have personal recommendation then you can choose the services that you want to disable extra services you can also check over here the unattended you can check that 
all right so once you are all done finally you will have to click on apply and this is the very important part so make sure that you don't skip it the saving mode you have to keep this selected to save the image the image format we will keep it to wim that is the default one and below you here you get the option so you have to check the option of create iso because we need an iso image so that we can uh, boot the device and install windows 11 or whichever operating system you have customized so you have to click on create iso now it will ask you the location that where exactly you want to save the iso so i will select the location of document you can save to any location whichever you want to now in the file name here you can change the anti light to like windows or win 11 custom or whatever name you want to give you can give then finally you have to click on save again it will ask you the label so i can change it to win 11 custom and then i have to click on ok and now you have to click on the process that is on the very left and top and now it will say windows defender detected it is recommended to disable it for a much faster processing so it's recommended that you should go ahead and disable the real-time protection so that there should not be any kind of problem and even the processing should be faster so click on yes and it will take you to the real-time protection click on virus and threat protection Click on manage setting under virus and threat protection settings and disable the real time protection. Click on yes. Now you can close it. And now it will say start applying all the pending changes. So you have to click on yes. And the process will now be started. Now in between it will ask you few permissions. So you will have to click on OK and yes. And it will take about roughly 15 or 20 minutes some time to complete the whole process. Okay, so the first pop-up will be related to the update that has been completed. So you will have to click on OK. And in between, you may get different kind of pop-ups. So you have to allow the permissions. So make sure that you are in front of your PC or laptop so that you can grant all those permission. And the next pop-up will be related to the parallel extraction. So again, click on OK. Alright, so the process has been now completed and as I said that it may take about 15 to 20 minutes so you will have to wait. Now once it's been done, you can click on OK. And now you can close this anti-light. And If I go back to my document where I saved the ISO, so let's go into the document here. So here we have the Windows 11 custom ISO that we just created, we customized and it's over here. So now let me quickly go ahead and install this operating system this custom windows 11 iso so that i can show you that how exactly it looked like all right so now the windows 11 custom iso has been installed now let's see that how exactly it looks like what are the changes that we applied so first of all, if I make a right click on the Windows icon, then if I go to settings and go to applications, installed apps, so you can see there are only few of the application that we have got here. The rest, all the other application we have debloated. Now if I make a right click on the desktop here, so you can see the old context menu of Windows 10. Even if I make a right click on any of the applications, so you can see this is the old context menu. This is the changes that we have applied. Now if I go to the task manager, so you can even see that we have applied the dark mode on the application. So it's coming in the dark mode. And now if I talk about the performance, so there are few threads, processes and handle count as compared to Windows 11, the regular Windows 11. Alright, so now as I have done only few of the changes, I have not fully debloated it. So it's all up to you that how exactly you debloat it. You have to make some researches, what exactly you have to remove. And once you finally create your own custom ISO and you install it, you will find that it will be the genuine copy of Windows 11 or Windows 10 with the light weighted operating system. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.